three days, one shopping mall, endless undead. Now I may only be very new to Project Zomboid, but I thought this would be a fun challenge to take on and see how far we get. Quick shout out to Harvest Z for being the inspiration for this video. Go check out his original video of this challenge, it is very well put together. So without further ado, let's get into it. Introducing Barry Benson, the not so typical hero of Project Zomboid. He will be our main character today and honestly I wish him the best, he's going to go through hell and back. So it's fairly simple. Every time we respawn, we'll be spawning on top of the helipad, making our way down into the mall and just trying to live there for the three days. A lot easier said than done. The first thing I decided to do was just check everything on the rooftop, see where everything was, if there was any supplies I could grab before going in. Turns out there wasn't much up on the roof. There was one storage shed, but it typically didn't have too much in it. That and most of the time it was locked. Ah! I tried to sneak through the door, man. Can't make it. Can't make it. The shit's stuck. After spending a little too much time on the roof and trying to hype myself up into going inside, I finally decided to try and open the door and see what was inside. Oh. Did a quick dash around those zombies and decided to just go all out and walk around the middle of the actual mall itself just to get eyes on what was in there, where I should be going, making small mental notes of where I might need to visit later, and getting eaten. Run number two was a different story. Managed to get inside, get into a safe storage room, but not realizing I attracted a large group of zombies. I have the lack of hearing trait on, and I didn't realize they were breaking in behind me as I was checking these cardboard boxes. Run number three went about as well as run number one. I ended up getting really overwhelmed at the amount of zombies in the mall. Ended up panicking, running out in the middle, and just getting completely mobbed. During attempt number four, I finally figured out where I could get a constant safe supply of water. I also started to realize that this entire wing of the mall was completely useless in terms of finding survival items, which was not great. Did I mention that I got completely mobbed and died again? Attempt number five, I decided to do things a lot slower and stop making as much noise. So I decided to try killing all the zombies in my way before proceeding anywhere, which was going great until I got bitten by the third zombie I encountered. I think at this point, Barry just decided that he had had enough as well. Attempt number six was a lot like attempt number five, except I took a lot more care, making sure to pay attention to my surroundings at all times. I tried to utilize the rooftop that I spawn in on to kill a whole bunch of the zombies that sort of camped the entryway. Unfortunately, this failed big time and I decided to run around them yet again. Finally getting a little respite, I managed to lock myself in a room with two zombies, kill them and pick up a shovel, which was absolutely huge if I was to get through this challenge alive. This is where things took a turn for the better. After trying to fight off a large group of zombies with my trusty shovel, I managed to get ushered into a different storage room, which is actually really close to where I spawn in, which typically had multiple melee weapons spawning inside. So this was perfect. I finally had a place I could get hydrated, found a place that spawned melee weapons, so I just had to find a place I could get constant food to survive me for the three days. Now look, some of you might be thinking, oh my god, this guy is garbage and he's using multi-hit. Well that's too fucking bad, get over it. Long story short, I bit off a bit more than I could chew and I got mobbed and eaten again. Attempt number seven was a demonstration on how not to use a sledgehammer. I think by attempt number eight, I started to get very impatient and a little frustrated. And instead of playing things smart, I decided to run as fast as I could to the room which had all the melee weapons, which actually ended up working out pretty well, to be honest. But then I panicked and died. Attempt number nine was pretty lousy, but I did find a spot that had food that was easily accessible and that was gonna play a huge part down the track. Attempt number 13 was me blowing off some steam. And guess who died after that rampage? Oh yeah, this guy. Now that I had gotten some food, water and melee weapons, I really spent some time just trying to fine tune my strategy to crunch through the endless amounts of zombies. I still had to find a place that had a more abundant food supply, but that's something I could focus on a little later or during a run as it wasn't too critical. So after playing for a fair while now, I managed to find the supermarket which was inside the mall on the other side to which I was at. My plan was to do basically a suicidal run inside the supermarket, leading all the zombies into one side quickly looting the other side of the supermarket, getting as much food as I could possibly get, and getting out and just bringing the food to my safer area. Now this actually seemed to work quite well. 
I thought the zombies might track me back to my safer area, but they didn't seem to track on that well, which was great. And now I finally knew where to get food for any further runs. I'd also discovered a hardware store, which was just one level up from the supermarket, which also had tons of different shovels and handheld items. This place stocked them to the brim. So I made sure to make a note of this just in case I was ever running over that way and there wasn't too many zombies and I could pick up something useful. Now, after doing so many attempts at these runs and spending so many hours trying to get through and just failing, I decided to have a look at my traits again to see if they could help me get any further. I started with slow learner as I wouldn't be learning anything over the three days anyway, agoraphobic because I wouldn't be outside much except for when I spawned, Conspicuous was a bit risky because the mall was so full of zombies, but I decided to use it anyway because the zombies were going to see me regardless. I thought a few extras wasn't going to make too much of a difference. Hard of hearing because I don't play with a lot of sound anyway, so it wouldn't matter too much to me as long as I paid extra attention. And obviously slow reader because we weren't doing any reading. Using those negative traits, I was able to pick up Graceful to make less noise, Light Eater so I didn't have to visit the supermarket as much, Fast healer because I found myself getting scratched quite often and didn't want those getting infected before the run ended. Stout to help me with my melee of all the zombies and thick skinned to also help with some of those different bites and scratches. Something I started to notice after doing so many different runs was that it felt like certain zombies in specific areas were respawning. So I decided to create a custom sandbox mode and make sure to turn off respawning on the zombies. Unfortunately, while I was doing this, I actually set it to apocalyptic mode, so I spent a good part of two hours trying to battle apocalyptic zombies, not realizing and trying to figure out why I felt like I was worse at the game than when I started. So here it was. This was the final run. I had gotten close to 10 hours of gameplay and I decided to call it quits and make this my final run. I honestly couldn't tell you which number run this was. I wouldn't be surprised if we were in triple figures, but it just felt like an absolute blur to me. I had come close on a few previous runs where things were looking good, but then things would fall apart when I'd make a silly mistake or get too impatient and run around and just attract too many zombies and get too worn out. Now, due to this being my final run, I decided to play this ultra cautious, especially when first kicking off using my normal strategy of leading some of the initial zombies out, stepping on their faces, and then proceeding to go in with caution. Things were looking so far so good. The initial first few zombies weren't too bad to deal with, and when I got into the hallway, there wasn't actually too many zombies, so I was feeling pretty optimistic. Not sure why, but I decided to run past the rest of the zombies. There was only about four, and then I felt really bad after pushing over this particular zombie. Managed to get my hands on a metal pipe, so dealt with the different zombies that had followed me to the room. I'll tell you what, I'm happy to fight any horde of hundreds, but as soon as there's a fast crawler in that group, it stresses me out like nothing else. It's so annoying when you're trying to hit it, but your character keeps trying to hit the one that's standing up in front of you, even though that one's probably going to do more damage to your legs. It is just impossible to kill it. After finishing off that small group of zombies, decided I'd grab a drink of water and went to finish off the rest that were walking around. I then started peeking around the sort of main corners that led into the main area of the mall and just drawing in small groups of zombies that I could finish off to just help clear out some of that main area and make it a bit safer for when I do need to go in there. This particular storage room was probably the most underwhelming in the entire mall. It actually held a ton of zombies at the start of every instance and it had absolutely nothing useful inside even though it had different crates and a toolbox. I imagine it would probably make a pretty cool base if you could somehow fortify it pretty well but it was just such a letdown. Once again I managed to lead a ton of zombies to me so I managed to bring them out up onto the roof and fought them on the stairs. This was one of my more desperate measures but it seemed to do the trick. I figured out insanely late on that I was making so much noise on the roof and that was the reason so many zombies were coming out and following me up onto the helipad. I didn't realize sound would transfer through that much, but I started to realize that when I jog on the roof or if I'd make too much noise on the roof, they would follow me up and they were relentless. Unfortunately, there wasn't a lot I could do in some of these runs. Obviously, sometimes you just have to fight, but this was not making it any better. After clearing off the entire rooftop and dispatching dozens and dozens of zombies, I decided I needed to break into the storage cupboard that was outside as I was running low on weapons and many of the weapons I already had were broken due to the amount of zombies I had already killed. 
Interestingly enough, I actually think this challenge has really helped me to become a far better Project Zomboid player just due to the dynamic of the challenge itself. I do think this challenge is good for players who have around 30 or 40 hours and onwards. It's actually quite a lot of fun and requires you to play in a style that is completely different to how you normally play. Alright, so back on the topic of Barry. Barry spent most of his first day smashing through massive piles of zombies and just taking quick stops to get some food and drink. By 6.30pm, the walls had literally been painted red by Barry. He was on a mission and he was not going to stop until he was successful. Decided to take a quick look at Barry's overall condition just to make sure he was okay. 78 zombies killed in around 10 hours. You can see my favorite weapon was the metal pipe and his traits were doing their job. So everything was looking very good. By 7.30, Barry had leveled up his short blunt stat, so go Barry, huge win for him. Now, it was getting later and later into the evening, but because we had destroyed so many zombies, it ended up making it relatively quiet on this side of the mall. So I decided to go out and just do a little bit of looting in some of the closer stores and see if we could find anything worthwhile. And after looking around for a little while, I wasn't finding anything worthwhile, so I decided to do my large grocery run early. Getting it done on the first night would mean I wouldn't have to risk myself later. So I ended up collecting a massive horde of zombies behind me. Luckily, it's pretty easy to navigate with them around in the large supermarket. So I could collect everything that I needed and get out without getting a scratch. I managed to run back to where we had already cleared out. Luckily, only one or two zombies were waiting around. The rest of the horde managed not to catch up because I was running too fast. So we got really lucky in that regard. Now I hadn't managed to secure a spot to sleep for the night, so I made my way down past the bathrooms and there's these two sort of board meeting rooms. I quickly took care of the zombies there and made my way in and I managed not to attract any zombies so I could get a very light sleep in there for about 10 minutes until a zombie broke a window. Things started to amp up as I couldn't find a safe room to sleep and at around 3am I managed to get a large group of zombies somehow locked onto me. This started to get very stressful as my weapons started breaking, my character got tired, everything was starting to go downhill really quickly once all my bad moodles started. Ended up just sticking it out as there wasn't too much else I could do, I just had to fight the zombies, there was nowhere else I could really go. And I think here is where my traits really started to shine. I don't think I would have gotten through this without some of my traits, which was really good. There was a secure room just near where I got my water from, but there was an opening to a large store, so I had to be super careful when getting into it. But thankfully, after only attracting one zombie, I managed to make this my place I could sleep and it was safe and secure. I ended up waking up at midday the next day to a loud banging by one angry zombie at the door. After taking care of him, had my water and I was ready to start the day off. After kicking day two off, I decided I needed to get some more weapons and I spent some time looking around. Unfortunately, I stumbled into this small hallway and tripped over a zombie and ended up getting scratched quite a few times. After patching myself up, I managed to continue running on, checking out all the different stores on the other side of the mall. Luckily, finally running into a hardware store which sold a bunch of melee weapons. So I quickly grabbed what I could without attracting too much more attention and got out as soon as I could. I ended up coming back around 6.30 due to my character being quite exhausted and extremely tired, so I decided to get another quick nap in and see when I'd wake up. Decided to do some repairs on myself and unfortunately on my right hand I had a big cut and I couldn't get any disinfectant to fix up the wound so it was becoming infected, so all I could do for now was apply some new bandages and keep on continuing on. I believe it was around 48 hours in and I decided that I wanted to try and get in the gun store. I had a bit of a plan to distract all the zombies in that vicinity and bring them down the other end of the mall. So at almost midnight on the second day, I decided to scream out as loud as I could and bring every single zombie in that area down the other end away from the gun store. Look, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't cry much, but when this happened, the tissues came out. After distracting those larger hordes, I went back to where I was staying and there was a few zombies straggling around. I went to check behind me to make sure everything was safe and I couldn't turn around quick enough and got bitten. Then I thought about it and realized we were already two out of the three days into our run, so a bite shouldn't make any difference. We just had to not die on the spot. After another sleep, I completely geared up in as much armor as I could find and I decided to do another big run to the supermarket to get more food. 
Everything was going much better than it normally would because I'd finally learned my way around the entire mall and so things were just going completely smoothly. Aside from the bite which didn't matter too much, things were looking up. This was my final run to the supermarket. I grabbed as much as I possibly could. There was a whole bunch of fresh food, plenty to get me through the next 24 hours. So I grabbed what I could and I continued on. On my way back, I finally managed to make my way to the back of the gun store due to the front being completely sealed. Unfortunately, I had quite a big mob of zombies following me and a lot of those doors to the gun shop were also being smashed on, so there was definitely a lot of zombies inside. So I decided to do another loop around and wait for those zombies to smash the doors down to the gun shop and come out of there. Then I could lead them away later safely. While I was at it, I decided to yell at the top of my lungs and distract the extra zombies that had accumulated there over the last 24 hours try and bring them away from the gun shop and make it safe. And here is where I started to think about what I brought up before, where I could have just played things very simple, I had plenty of food to get me through the amount of time I had left, so I could have just sat in my safe little room, ate my food and just waited for time to tick out, but I wanted to go out with the most excessive thing possible, I just wanted to get my hands on any sort of weapon and just start blasting. And after doing another huge loop around the mall trying to distract all the other zombies that were following me, I finally managed to walk in what I thought was the door to the gun shop. I then made my way up to the real gun store, walked in the entryway, felt something fall in my underwear, decided to leave and run away. Things started to get a little hairy here as I got my leg injured after a few zombies scratched it, so I wasn't moving at full mobility. Luckily I managed to walk away with my life, but it was very, very close. And I'm not joking, I don't think my palms have been sweatier playing this game before. This was, uh, this was very close. It was, uh... Definitely a moment I uh, had to reflect on afterwards. The resulting incident actually ended with a large group of zombies making their way toward my little safe house. So when I was trying to get away from them and just stay inside for a little bit so I could regather myself, I couldn't really get like two seconds to think and zombies continually came through the doorway and kept trying to kill me. As I tried leaving the situation, it seemed that the entire mall had refilled up back with zombies. Previous areas that I had completely cleared out were now full again. It completely threw my plans off of what I was going to do to get back to safety. While I was on the move, I tried to patch myself back up by putting on extra bandages, just making sure I wouldn't get infected any quicker. But as I was doing this, more and more zombies were getting attracted to my location. So I tried my best to try and lead them away from all the stores near where I was living. After making my way back to my small area of the mall, I thought I was safe. I had walked back, led all the zombies away, at least I thought I gave them the slip. So I went into a very dimly lit store and tried to make my way through. I ended up getting very confused and lost in the dark and when I saw a massive horde of zombies on their way, I started to stress out like crazy. And this was it. This was the moment. This is the moment that brought the run to an end. It was over. I was two and a half days in and I was so close to getting it done, but after close to 10 hours of game time just trying this challenge, I decided that was enough. Considering I'm still only very new to the game, I thought that was pretty decent for someone who doesn't really know what they're doing, so I decided to leave it there. I still had a ton of fun playing this, I actually found it really really challenging, but in a good way, where I wasn't actually getting bored. Well thank you very much for watching, if you could drop a like it would mean a lot. If you want to see more, hit subscribe, and thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon.